A royal thanks to you, smart girl. A royal thanks to you, large thoughtful boy. A royal thanks to you, kid who always wins. A royal thanks to you, friend of smart girl. A royal thanks to you, girl who runs with fists. And last but not least, a royal thanks to you, you crazy monkey boy. You know why we have gathered. Superintendent Skinner's plan to make us wear school uniforms has been defeated. These six chums, once again, through quick and decisive action, put the needy of my playground first, which, in this case, included us all. Please, now, show them your appreciation. I am so sick of those six. Keep the sugar coming. Dazzling use of the Ashley sport. It was nothing really, sire. Once we let them accidentally see Spinelli's sketches of what the new school uniforms might look like, we knew it wouldn't be long before their folks got on the horn to skin It's bad enough to keep beating us at kickball, but Dent Womper and his buddies have to keep making stuff better and getting all the good glory, too. Maybe we should hold a practice. What? You know, to get more better at kickball. This ain't about kickball, dope. I want some of that glory. So we're not gonna play him at kickball? No, we're not gonna do anything. If I'm gonna get me some glory, what I need's a whole new group. Jocko, Chewy, you boys is fire! Oh. Uh, a whole new crew. How about that? And it only took me most of fifth grade to think it up. Ah, uh, another perfect day at Third Street School. Partially thanks to us. Man, did you ever think about what this place would be like without us? Kids might still be plagued by King Morty's Depression Era rules. Randall would be a prince. The Ashleys would have actually gotten away with raiding kids. And Library Kid might have wrecked the whole playground and herself. Yep, there's no two ways around it. We serve a pretty important purpose in these parts. Um, you guys? Hey, Chippy, what's shaking? Nothing. Just the second and third graders are about to go to, um, war. But that could pit brother against brother! Or brother against sister! Something must be done. And as usual, it looks like we're this mighty playground's only hope. Yeah. Yes. 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 Let's do it. Mikey, you may need your winger dingers. Anything for the cause of peace. Thanks, Michael. All right, let's move. It's nice to know we can always count on you guys. Pardon us, kind playmates. Peacekeeper is coming through. Yeah, out of the way already. Okay, let's get their leaders and sort things out over some winger day. Stay back! Nobody gets in the way of our peace missions. Now move it or lose it, Skeens. Hold up, Spinelli. I think we're on the brink of something pretty special. Did you finally figure out how to spell your name right on the side of the school? Shh! Young kids and younger kids, follow your leaders. The troubles are over. Yeah! Nothing to see here, folks. War has been unwarded. Return to your games and fun. I repeat, return to your games and fun. What in the... Look! Thanks for giving up your winger dingers. <clears throat> Anything for the cause of peace. Hey! And what's up with that? Hey, those little runts really look up to you. Well, I did teach most of them to swing. I didn't know those guys were friends. Blomp and Bobula! I can't believe this! Believe it, Dent Whiner. I got a crew of my own now, and we can do everything you guys can do, and more. Get out of here, Lawson. No way, Le Stupid. I got me a cracked squad of specialists. He means a crack squad of specialists, but otherwise, he's quite correct. Allow me to introduce the crew. Randall, our eyes and ears on the playground. Infinitely more valuable than your guts. Ouch. Cursed, once known as the worst. When it comes to sheer ballast and eating ability, she's more than a match for your Mikey. Briggs schemes, situations. In charge of thinking up bad stuff before anyone can do it. When chased, even faster than your Vince. Swinger Kid, possible possessor of even greater courage than your Spinelli. Well, she ain't afraid of heights. I, Menlo, though no Gretchen in the classroom or the lab, will match my single-minded organizational abilities against anyone's. Anyone's! The dad. And of course, Lawson is our TJ. Lawson is your what? TJ! Say goodbye to all that good glory you've been getting. We're all sick of it. So now we're swiping it. Oh, boy. Guys, do you really think Randall is infinitely more valuable than I am? I mean, I can understand if he's a little more valuable, but... Forget it, Gus. He's not more valuable than you at all. And the only thing cracked with Lawson's squad is Lawson. And maybe Menlo for saying that joke. Ugh. Lawson may be cracked, but his group is most effective. They averted a war. 
Well, I think it's great that there's another group of friends now committed to helping out around here. Yeah, I've been thinking. They might even be able to give us a tougher game of kickball than Lawson's old crew kid. Man, Chewie and Taco need to practice. Forget kickball. With Lawson and his friends hoping to keep the playground cool, we can concentrate on some business we've been neglecting. Namely, the pulling of pranks. What you got in mind, Teach? Anybody notice what Finster's got sitting on our windowsill lately? A brand new cactus. Good eyes, Vince. It isn't just the principal who's prickly these days. Now, how do you suppose that cactus would look on, I don't know, the top of the school? I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Might code names be required for this caper? Yep, and walkie-talkies. Now, huddle up, people. Operation Roof Garden might just be my masterpiece. Lookouts, Cyclops and Dr. Oculus, check in, please. Clear weather, Soaring Shark. Repeat, clear weather. No sign of Crocodilicus. Repeat, no sign of Crocodilicus. Tender like steak. Praying Mantis, initiate distraction sequence. <laughs> distraction sequence initiated, Soaring Shark. Excellent. Lady Fusion, report on launching device, please. Launching device poison operational, Soaring Shark. Repeat, launching device poison operational. Perfect. Jet Ray Mongoose, begin snatching sequence. Check. Hey, you guys. It's gone. Huh? What the... Damn, Sooks. <laughs> Can't believe they beat us to it. <laughs> Inconceivable. It's like they're one step ahead of us on everything. What a regrettable ways of code names. What's all this then? Ah! Who? Who? Don't look at us, Crocodilicus. What you call me, Griswold? Ooh. This wumps. It does seem bitterly unjust. I still can't believe they roof Finster's cactus first. Those laughs and tears should have been ours. It's particularly ironic that Gus is the only one who got detention. Gus needs to remember that code names are only for the walkie-talkies. But guys, don't you see? If we can't stop wars and we can't pull pranks, I don't know where we fit in this new school order. Nothing. I can't think of any new pranks. And I'm supposed to be the prankster prince. I might as well just hand my goofy crown and the prestige that comes with it over to Lawson. I know what you mean, Teach. Lawson and his crew are good. Heck, I don't even want to play him at kickball anymore. What are we going to do? I know. We can fashion instruments out of common garbage and form a rock combo. Are you nuts? Hi, Corn Chip. Hi, Gus. But, um, the administration has banned chocolate milk. <laughs> Wait a second, this could be our chance. If there's anything left that only we can do, it's to rally the kids to the playground and reverse an evil policy. Teej is right. We learned all about peaceful protesting and junk from Miss Grokey. We owe it to our mentor and our community to go to the art room and start making signs. We've never committed to a greater cause. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got a sugary sweet treat to say. Check this out. Give me chocolate milk or give me death? Spin, you sure you want to have another meeting with the district counselor? Good point, Vince. Better tone it down. Now, let me see. Give me chocolate milk or give me chocolate milk. That's it. I'll leave him no choice. Nice save, Spin. Now, let's get out there and pick it. Now, what's that? I hear cows. This is not good. The appearance of actual cows could confuse our protest by developing sympathy for the very creatures we advocate exploiting for their milk. Grab the signs. We better start picketing before this thing is too far gone. Stop that infernal mooing! Stop it right now, you miscreants! What an amazingly clever protest. I wonder who came up with it. Who do you think? Lawson, you can have your chocolate milk back. Moo, 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 moo. Fine, fine, fine. And double chocolate milk on Fridays. Lawson rules! Lawson rules! Lawson rules! Lawson rules! Moo, moo. What's that supposed to mean? Nice try. Oh, you! Spinelli, no! <laughs> TJ, I'm confused. What's going on? Just don't seem to need us anymore. And last but not least, a royal thanks to you, Lawson. Our chocolate milk has been saved. Now please, give these selfless new hero kids your thanks. I can't believe they pulled it off. Hey, knock it off, Earl. Oh, hi, Miss Gorky. Bravo, bravo. That was the most inspired piece of civil disobedience I've ever witnessed. 
You can learn from those kids. Recess will never be the same. It seems you've been replaced.